If you read no other non-fiction this year, read this one. This is my main take home message. This is one of the best non-fiction books I have ever read. It blew my mind. Read this book. So if you saw my video earlier in the week, you'll know that I read this as part of reading the shortlist for the Jalak Prize. And this was absolutely my number one to win. I'm filming this before the um, announcement of the winner of that prize. So I don't know if it won or not. I really, really hope it did. And this was exceptional. So. Kai Miller is a Jamaican author who lives in the UK. He was born and raised in Kingston and he moved to the UK in 2004 to study creative writing, I believe, at the Manchester Met Uni. So that in itself means that Kai Miller has a lot of experiences to draw from and he very much does so in this essay collection. So this collection was also shortlisted for the Bailey Gifford Prize and he has three novels, a set of short stories, and quite a lot of poetry also available. I will definitely be checking out the novels and the short stories. One of his novels, August Town, were, actually was the winner of the OCM Bocas Prize for Caribbean Literature, which is a prize that I haven't come across before, but I will be looking into if Kai Miller is a winner of it. So this book covers so many different topics. We have culture, we have what inspires him from a literary perspective. We have race, we have the gay experience. We, we have so many things packed into this essay collection and every single one of them was fantastic. Some of them were beyond fantastic, but they were all so, so good. So if we start with the topic of culture, being Jamaican, several of his essays are based around Jamaican culture, his experiences living in Jamaica, his experiences with white people in Jamaica, and his experiences as a black man in Jamaica. And all of those were so, so interesting for me. I've never really read anything non-fiction about the Caribbean sort of way of life and that sort of thing. And I thought they were beautifully written and certainly eye-opening. There is also a couple of essays based around a trip that he took to Africa. And again, super interesting. He went to Kenya, he went to Ethiopia, he went to Ghana and sort of his experiences as a Jamaican British resident in Africa and the differences in culture there were really interesting to read about. And so yeah, really enjoyed all of that. His very first essay talks about his inspiration for becoming a writer um, and his inspiration for championing race and being an activist against racism. So he talks at length at the beginning about James Baldwin and the effect that he has and um, some of the specific pieces of writing from James Baldwin that, that impacted him. And that was all really beautifully done. He also goes on to talk later on about the Kenyan author, Biyamvanga Wainena, uh, who I hadn't heard of before this, but I will absolutely be looking up his work now. And it was just really interesting to see where he gets his inspiration from. And there was a little nugget in there, which I really liked, where he said that he has tattoos of all the barcodes of his books. And I just thought that that was fantastic, a fantastic celebration of everything that he has achieved. And I'm so glad I found this author through this prize because I think he has potential to be one of my favorite authors. So we will see once I read some of his fiction, but his writing style is magnificent so yes kudos to everybody that he took inspiration from because it obviously had a very positive impact so i sort of touched on this before but he does look at race within this essay collection and the way that he describes it the way that he talks about it the way that he addresses white privilege and um sexism and particularly sort of why it is different to be, be a black male to a white male or a black male to a black woman or it he talks about his body and the fact that there's nothing he can do about that his body makes statements for him before he even opens his mouth and the way that he talks about that is just fantastic and it really struck a chord with me i'm not going to try and go into too much depth on it because obviously 
Kai Miller is a very talented writer and that's why it struck such a chord. But if you have read quite a lot of non-fiction around the race issue, then this is by far the best I have seen it portrayed in writing. So that's all I'm gonna say on that. He does also touch on a lot of contemporary issues. For example, the George Floyd murder and COVID and the effect on the black population. And I have to say that essay brought me to tears, um, the way he talked about it. And that's pretty powerful stuff for a non-fiction essay to, to literally make me cry. Yeah, it was so powerful, so brilliantly written. I, yeah, absolutely love that essay. He also talks a lot about um, his experience as a gay man. So I did not know before reading this essay collection that Jamaica was actually classified as the most homophobic country in the world, I think in 2004. And he talks a lot about his experience being gay in Jamaica and comparing that to his experience being gay in the UK. And that was really interesting to read about. So just highlighting another favorite section. So I think I've probably covered like all of the reasons that I love this book, but one more thing, I listened to this on audio and Miller narrates this himself. And I would highly recommend listening to him narrate it because he has this cadence to his voice that sucks you in. Um, I could listen to him read all day. Um, but apart from the fact that he has this way of speaking that engages a listener, he obviously has a Jamaican accent and for the essays which are written about Jamaica, some of the dialect stuff can be harder to read and comes across a lot more fluid when it's read by a native Jamaican. So loved, loved, loved the audiobook. but I think I probably will also pick up a physical copy so that I can highlight the hell out of it because honestly there was so much good stuff in this essay collection the way that he described things that I, um, I will absolutely need to go back through it with a bit of a fine tooth came and, and pick out all the really important bits. Uh, and it will take a lot of highlighter ink. So <laughs> they are my thoughts on this book. I really, 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 really encourage you to pick it up. It blew my mind. It got into my bones. <laughs> um, so yes, please read this book. It was an easy five star, definitely the best non-fiction book I've read this year, but possibly in like the top three non-fiction books I have ever, ever read. And yeah, let me know if you pick it up, if you already have picked it up, and I will catch you later with another one. Cheers, guys. Bye.